Hello guys, my name's Helen. I'm a Houston-based photographer. Outfits can really make or break your photo shoot. So, as a professional photographer, I want to share some styling tips that I have and that I give out to my clients that have really worked for me and my style of shooting. I would describe myself as a moody photographer. And this is these are just my opinions. Like everyone has different opinions, of course. So take this as it is, but this is just what I found that has worked for me. Okay, number one, compliment. Do not match one another. The biggest mistake that I've seen clients make is wearing like matching outfits. For example, everyone will wear like a blue top and like black jeans or vice versa. And this can like make for me, at least, I think it makes the photos look really cheesy, which I don't like. That's not what I'm going for. I'm going for something more professional looking. So I found that like neutral colors that complement one another work the best. Like, let's say we're doing an outdoor photo shoot and of course the color scheme is going to be like natural colors. So like a beige with browns with light green sage colors light blues like that like have you know work well together like you don't have to be matching it actually looks better when couples are not wearing the same outfits my trick a trick that i give to my clients is literally grab all your clothing pieces together sit them next to each other and just look at them and if the colors look good together then it'll be fine in the photo shoot and I'll set examples of pictures that I found on Pinterest. And these are pictures that from my styling guide that I send out to my clients. Number two, mix and match textures. This will really elevate your pictures by so much. And like, it just gives photos dynamic, visual dynamic from like satin to like, let's say we're shooting by wood. Um let's say someone's wearing cotton and like it just looks good like these textures i find like just it just for my eyes like your eyes it's just nice to look at and also like with that being said like um texture i mean patterns are okay i don't mind patterns and this is one of those things where like take it as what it was what it is i don't mind patterns i actually love them especially if clients are not comfortable with experimenting with textures patterns are good as long as the colors look good together number three wear accessories this is really good for like a, to make a really simple outfit like pop out you can wear a hat you can wear bracelets and stylish shoes like I'll set an example here and try to imagine the picture without any accessories and maybe how boring <laughs> the picture might look. Number four, layers. Don't be afraid to go crazy here. Layering also adds a lot of dynamic to photos. And I know like in person it might look crazy, but in the photos, it'll look good. And for here, like don't be afraid to wear a hat put a sweater over a dress wearing socks like an undershirt it just adds visual and visual interest another tip wear well-fitting clothing this is my biggest tip because well, i'm saying all these are big tips but this one's really good because well-fitting clothing or clothing that's like that fits well is gonna not only make you look good but it'll you'll be able to see it in the photos that it's well-fitting clothing when you wear clothes maybe that's too big for you maybe some clients might wear clothing that's big for them because they feel more comfortable in that um sometimes it doesn't translate good in photos it might make you look bigger you know and it's good to wear well-fitting well-fitting clothing and don't try to cover yourself up completely um i don't recommend that Editing Helen here, I wanted to expand on that because I felt like that was not clear what I was saying. What I was trying to say, because the next clip I talk about how you should just wear stuff that makes you comfortable. What I was trying to say is that sometimes we might have the habit of like 
like we used to feel self-conscious taking photos so we wear something bigger to cover ourselves up or something like that because i have done that numerous 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 times and then when i take pictures it's just not flattering because it doesn't look good on my body like just to cover myself up i look much bigger than what i imagined myself to look like so yeah that's that's what i was trying to say <laughs> um accentuate your body parts you know if you're concerned about how you'll look in the photos like that's something we can talk about or you should talk about with your photographer posing really helps but clothing will will, will help as well another tip make sure to wear anything that makes you feel comfortable anything that makes you feel like you like don't don't try anything crazy on the day of the photo shoot unless it feels true to you like you don't have to go out to the store and buy a whole new outfit like if you want to that's cool but i recommend to not do that i recommend wearing what you're comfortable in i know we all have a few outfits that we feel super comfortable in and just elevate them a little bit um because if you're wearing clothing that you feel comfortable in you'll be able to see it in the photos here's another extra tip please avoid black <laughs> please avoid black this is just like a personal opinion i like like the texture one some photographers don't like textures i don't mind them but i do not like the color black in photos i love the color black i wear black most majority of my closet is black but i found that like and maybe i'm being a hypocrite here because i have some portraits wearing a black shirt but like at least for a couple photos i don't like black S some people wear it because you know it'll make you look skinnier but no sometimes to be to be honest like it makes you stand out a lot more especially in the way that i shoot with moody photography outdoor photography in nature black is not a natural is not really a natural occurring color in nature and i find that it just stands out so much but if you want to wear something dark you can wear dark brown dark green like those types of colors but just black please avoid it please avoid it so let me just go through it again compliment one another don't match each other mix and max textures oh mix and match textures wear accessories layers wear well fading clothing nothing too baggy and then wear what you feel comfortable in and don't wear black i really hope that these tips helped you guys out and please don't take any of these personally like if you've done these in your photo shoot with me or in any other photo shoot these are just some tips that i've gathered along the way of me shooting i know styling can be really intimidating like for me i find that it is intimidating i am not a stylish person i would not say that about myself i'm not a fashionista or anything like that so these are just like some tips that i've found that have worked for me as well especially wearing stuff that you're comfortable in you know like i'm the most comfortable in like ripped jeans and a shirt and just shoes my hair down like how i am right now and i've taken portraits like that and i feel comfortable in them um i feel good in them every time that i try to do something different that i'm not comfortable in i look uncomfortable in all my photos and even though like it can be a really simple outfit if you feel really comfortable in it then you should be good oh another tip wear dresses dresses look really nice in photos because you can like swing them around that type of stuff that's something you, sh you can keep in mind whenever you're layering things you can swing around things you can have movement in if you have accessories hats and stuff you can move them around that type of stuff that would be really nice Thank you so much for watching i really hope that you guys enjoyed the video and it's helped you out like subscribe whatever you guys do check out my instagram that's where i'm active a lot and let me know if there's any other tips that you found have really worked for you or if you disagree with some of the tips let me know what you think